I'm Josh Lipton and I commute my bike. I'm here at the North American Handmade Bike Show in Austin, Texas. I'm here with Catherine Horsman of Brompton. Hi. Nice to meet you, Catherine. Nice to meet you. How is the show treating you so far? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I've been folding and unfolding yep. pretty much constantly for two days now. So right. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> how, how many folds per hour would you say? Oh, I don't know, maybe 20. 20, wow. No, probably more than that. I mean, wow. God, that's a gross underestimate. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's quite a pace. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and dive into some questions. How did you become a cyclist? Um, I, I sort of dabbled in mountain biking a bit, but I didn't I didn't really classify myself as a cyclist until I started working for Brompton and I was commuting on my bike every day, sort of 10 miles each way. So then I I truly felt like a cyclist. Right. It's a decent stretch, you know, yeah, 20 miles a day. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you, so you commute by bike. Um, yeah. Tell us a little bit about uh, where you live and what your bike commute's like. Uh, I live in South London and I commute 10 miles to West London where the factory is. Uh, I ride up to the Thames and then I take the Thames path along the river all the way to Brentford which is where our factory is. Okay. So it's quite a nice ride. Yeah, sounds nice. Um, tell me how your work at Brompton relates to bicycle ad advocacy. Well, I, we work with uh, and we get invited to a lot of uh, well, to get involved in a lot of projects that support cycling. Most recently, we've been working with um, the Herne Hill Velodrome, or Save the Herne Hill Velodrome. Um, it's a velodrome in South London, actually quite near where I live, um, that they were going to demolish, get rid of, and build some you know, houses there. Um, so we've been working with them and with the, well, not well, with the London kind of, you know, regional government right. to, uh, to, to support it and to keep it from being knocked down. So that, that's what we've been doing most recently. Yeah, excellent. Um, what are the most important costs and benefits that Brompton must consider when putting time into bicycle advocacy? Well, you know, is it going to have, what effect is it going to have? I mean, right. we need to, we obviously want to be seen to be supporting really worthwhile causes. Right. Um, and clearly, like, resources, particularly at the moment, you know, the current economic climate, you can't just be throwing money away as well. So right, you've right. got to be, like, pretty uh, passionate about the causes you get involved in. Yep, definitely. So. so, and do you see a lot of benefits from those? From yeah, I mean, the Velodrome project, for instance, that's like a real community project. It's going to be encouraging a lot more people to get into cycling and give them the facilities to be able to do that. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's very much like the center of, you know, the Ernell Brixton community. Yeah, that sounds excellent. Um, would you choose three words or concepts to describe an ideal commuter bike? Uh, fast. <laughs> Flexible, you know. I mean, you really need it to be able to, to cope with a myriad of uh, terrains that you're going to come across on your commute. Right. Which is sounds probably a bit odd, but when you look at the potholes and the road surfaces and that, it is actually quite an important factor. Right, right. Yep. <laughs> uh, third word: uh, smooth. Smooth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't want to be like <laughs> on this real hard, like bouncing around. Yeah. Fast, smooth, and flexible. Yeah, there you I go. Like that. Good, good. <laughs> Yeah. What are the majority of Bromptons used for? I would have to say the majority probably are used for commuting. Okay. Uh, but there are a lot of people using them with their uh, UVs, their caravans, you know, in any sort of vehicle that they want to, well, whenever they want to take their Brompton with them. Right. So, you know, planes, etc., etc. But yeah, the majority probably are still used for commuting. I mean, if you go to London, yeah, you'll see that they're. All the main stations outside within rush hour are just a sea of uh, Brompton and some other folding bikes. <laughs> okay. What accessories are integrated into the Brompton? Well, something that's specific to the Brompton is our front luggage system. Okay. You've got your front carrier block just here. It's a, an option that you elect when you build your bike. All of our luggage works in the same way. You've got a, either a frame, as in the back of this piece of luggage, with a socket, or with the... Uh, the Ortley bag we've done for us, uh, there's an integrated uh, socket, so there's no frame. The benefit of the frame is you can switch over the different types of luggage, so you're not sort of confined to one type. But as with all of them, you just slot it onto the front block and it's locked in place. So even if you go over the handlebars, the luggage is going to stay on the bike. Nobody's going to nick it off you while you're at the lights. So yeah. There's lots of different types of luggage. <laughs> Excellent. 
And I also see the fenders and racks are all Oh, kind of well, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you get your fenders there. We've got our uh, own lighting system, which is integrated here at the back. Right. Um, it's really important that you, you take care with the lighting you use with the Brompton because as you're constantly folding, you know, the back wheel under, you don't want to be getting it bashed around. Right. We've uh, stayed away from putting lighting on the saddle or on the tube. So if you're wearing a coat or something, then it can easily be covered up. So very much recommend that the lighting is down here just above the wheels. Right, right. Okay. Um, imagine that I'm a potential buyer. What features of a Brompton would you emphasize to me? And feel free to just give us a demonstration as well. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'll get rid of the luggage. <laughs> okay, so the important thing about the Brompton is the fact that it folds up. <laughs> so you just swing the back wheel under, bring the front wheel back, Move your pedal, folding pedal on the left hand side. Once you've dropped the seat pillar, you've locked the whole bike in place. There's no way it's going to come undone. Um, we've also got some rollers, some easy wheels, so you don't actually have to carry the bike around. Right. I would nice say that's feature. a very important feature and it's one I use yes. every day. <laughs> oh. So yeah, all that. Working easy. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much, Catherine. No worries. Thanks for the great work. Okay. I'm Josh Lipton, and I commute by bike. <laughs>